What's up everybody? It's Jamie Kristen coming to you from my home farmstead. We are on special location today. Just kidding. We're in my car. It is a snowy, snowy, freezing cold day. I just went ahead and shoveled my walk and put some salt down. Um, the kids are all remote learning in the house. So this was a very quiet space for me to go ahead and be able to bring this video to you. Today, we are going to be talking about the crock pot of gardening, winter sowing, and all the supplies you need to winter sow. Um, what is winter sowing, you might ask yourself, um, if you've never heard of this term before. Essentially, it's taking seeds and you're mimicking nature. Um, you're putting seeds into mini greenhouses, which we're going to talk about how to make these jugs and other containers into mini greenhouses. And it's like the natural life cycle of a plant. So a plant drops its seeds once it's done and its fruit bearing time is over. Those seeds go into the ground. Those seeds stratify and essentially go to sleep um, during the winter time. And then they start to wake up and sprout when the soil temperature increases and um, they can go ahead and start to germinate and become little baby seedlings. So you can kind of get it a jump start on that by doing this winter sowing method. And there are a hundred thousand different videos out there on winter sowing, but we're going to get it super simple, super easy. And then we're going to go over the supplies. So these seeds stratify, they go to sleep. And if you want to think about it in terms that kind of make sense, think back, back to the movie aliens. The movie starts out with Ripley being in her little sleeping pod. She was in a state of suspended animation for her ship to get to its destination. Her metabolic rate completely slowed down. She was fed intravenously and then it pops open and she starts to wake up. That's kind of like what this winter sewing method is, in my opinion anyway. So the different things that you need or that you can use during winter sewing are pasta containers because it's clear and it has a hole at the top of it. You can use milk jugs, but you cannot use the white milk jugs. The reason you can't use the white milk jugs is you are essentially building a poor man's greenhouse. Let's just call it what it is. Um, the light needs to be able to penetrate into here to um, help your seed uh, germinate and then have photosynthesis. The hole helps to water it, create that condensation that's going to go ahead and go down to the soil. So you can use water containers. You can use clear containers like this. You can also use big water jugs like this. You can use containers like this. You can also use juice jugs. I don't know. Did I already say juice jugs? We'll see. Um, and then you can also use what I'm going to be focusing on this year because I have so many different varieties and very limited space. Um, I'm going to be using these little parfait cups. So if y'all are hitting up your uh, Big B coffee or McDonald's and you're getting them frappuccinos, save your cup. You can use it to winter stratify. So the first thing that you're going to grab is your container. Check. Second thing you're gonna grab is some scissors or some snips. I went ahead and got these snips off Amazon. I use my jugs handle as a guide on where to cut it. Um, so I punch a hole in with my snips. I go all the way around and then use my handle as essentially a lid. Hello. Um, you can poke your holes into the bottom of your container first um, or after, it doesn't really matter. I've seen people warm up a screwdriver and go ahead and poke their holes. I've seen people use um, a heated up glue gun to poke their holes, but you really don't have to get fancy with it. You can just use your snips, poke a hole, and it makes a hole. Not a big deal. So we've got our container, we've got our snips, we're making our hole. Um, you want to make sure that you have four to five inches of good quality soil. My recommendation is to use Happy Frog. Great organic soil. What you put into your seeds in the beginning is what you're going to be putting out of them. You know how they always say you are what you eat? 
you're gonna be eating vegetables, you wanna make sure that you're giving your seeds the best organic material possible so that it bears the best organic fruit so that you and your family can go ahead and eat and be nourished by great organic, organic, organic um, fruits and vegetables. And then you have amazing flowers and you always wanna make sure that they have enough food in order to grow and germinate because once their germination is done, you'll be taking them out and transplanting them elsewhere. Something else that you need for this winter sowing project is to go ahead and get seedling markers. Who's ever had a mystery jug? Asking for a friend. <laughs> um, you want to make sure that you're going ahead and you're marking your containers, whether you use these on the inside of your jug or you're marking outside of your jug. I will tell you, if you use Sharpie, it's gonna wash off. It's gonna become a mystery jug. Um, I've had a lot of friends in different winter sewing groups that say to use the paint pens. Those work the best. I am OCD. I like to do things once and not have to do them again. So I use my P-Touch Brother Labeler. This is not gonna wash off. It is not going to um, come off in any way. I will absolutely know what jug is what jug. And these are reusable. I can reuse them every single year. You can get plant markers on Amazon. You can also use plastic knives for plant markers. I've seen people cut vertical blinds and recycle those as plant markers. Um, people get really, really creative. Uh, when they're doing their plant markers, but be sure that you mark your plants. The second thing, the second, no, we're on the third thing. Um, the third thing you're gonna need is some masking tape um, to go ahead and tape all the way around your jug to make sure that they're sealed up and that those, uh, the greenhouse effect can fully take place and that condensation can develop on the inside of there, creating a barrier. However, on a lot of my groups also, I've seen people taking a hole punch and doing a hole punch on the top portion of their milk jug and then the bottom portion of their milk jug and doing this kind of a deal. And then they're taking twine or string and feeding it through there so that they can cut down on plastic consumption um, and it's just easier for them to go ahead and open. So they're doing one of these type of dealios. You can tie a bow, you can do a slip knot, whatever you wanna do to make sure that your container is closed. Personally, I prefer the tape. I know it's not going anywhere. I know nothing's getting in. I know that it's only coming out of the jug when I want it to come out of the jug. But if you are into recycling and you want, um, you know, to reduce your carbon footprint on the world and you don't want to use tape, this is another option for you. Other people have used bread ties or pipe cleaners as well. So that's another thing that you can do. So in a container this small, I'm only going to need about four holes. In a container this large, I'm probably going to need eight to 10 holes. In a container this large, I'm going to need a whole bunch more. The key is that you want to make sure you have proper drainage so that it cuts down on any type of like algae or dampening off that's going to kill your seedlings. Um, this as well, you would just go ahead and do a series of holes to make sure that it goes ahead and it drains properly. And then all you're left with is to figure out which seeds you're going to plant. So I I'm so excited for all of you that put in seed orders this year. I hope you take advantage of winter sowing. I'm in Michigan. My zone is 6B, A, ish, depending on where you're at in Michigan. But that is a super simple way to go ahead and winter sow. Container, not a white one, a clear one. Um, holes in the bottom of your container, happy frog soil in the bottom of your soil, the seeds, tape, markers, set them out and you don't have to check them two hours later they're not gonna sprout but we do we do it is what it is we check on them all the time they're our little plant babies there's no shame in that i fully accept that behavior here because i'm one of those people <laughs> so that's it you guys that is our beginner supplies for winter sewing if you guys have any questions leave me a comment down below the next uh, portion of this winter sewing series is to go ahead and to actually assemble our jugs. So stay tuned. If you guys like this channel, if you like this content, make sure that you give us a like, a subscribe, turn on those notifications so you never miss a single episode. And we'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.